So, do you want to be on the camera? Do you want to be on the camera? Should we talk to them about how you like feeding? What's your favourite? You just like to be fed, don't you? And you just like to be fed. So this one has just woken up from her morning nap. So we're just about to do a booby feed now. It's half 10, so it's about average. So just in terms of today, she woke up at 7.30 and she had a boob feed then. And then I just um, gave her a little nibble of a uh, boo-boo um, just before she had a nap, but she it was a tiny like, I say tiny feed, so I wouldn't class it as a proper feed, but now it's 10.30, it's the morning, we're gonna go and sit down and have a big old feed, aren't we? And mummy's just gonna take a coffee in and we're gonna get ready now. So I'm just getting myself ready now. Now I try to just pad myself out. My sofa is a bit deep, so I don't wanna like, be leaning back too much. Um, I just want to support you back because you will get back eight breastfeeding um, and then they do get heavier so you do get arm ache as well so what I'm currently doing is um, just padding out some pillows around me just before you like sit off with your feed um, I would definitely make yourself self comfortable so watch a bit of TV so I, I do watch a little bit of like TV at the moment I've been watching um Lucifer and Netflix absolutely love that but I finished that now so I've now got to find a new one today so everything's per got my coffee so if you're a hot drinker one of my biggest mum tips is to put it in a um, thermo flask because then you might actually end up having a warm tea and also you know it's it won't go quite oh. so often and yeah everything's ready and then i've got my breastfeeding pillow so this is the bb hug me it's like a mini version of the pregnancy pillow absolutely love that so i just you can tie this around you as well um it depends on your boob side because where i've got um quite big boobs or as my daughter said to me mummy why do you have long boobs I kind of don't need her to be so high up because they do suck a bit. But um, yeah, definitely get yourself a breastfeeding pillow. You don't want to cause yourself backache. So yeah, everything is done here. Now I'm ready to go. I've got my breastfeeding bra. I'm wearing a, a breastfeeding friendly, like this is like a little uh, dress thingy. I will link it down below because I have been buying some breastfeeding friendly clothes so I can just unclip myself and get ready for the boobing. Did you come on? You want to play with it? I thought you are hungry. I thought you are hungry. Nah. I do try to breastfeed from both boobs just to even them out a bit. I don't find it as awkward with LED to do both sides. With Isla, I just remember just one side she feed really well and I felt quite natural. And then putting her over to the other side, I felt really awkward. Now, I know that um, on the question book, people were asking me for breastfeeding tips and in terms of actual like technique and things like that i don't really know what to say really because it's a learning curve both babies are are, are going to be different in terms of the preference they like feeding and um it, i think it really depends on your boob size as uh, boob size as well because for example i i could sit back and still have quite a bit of boob between like myself and my like my baby in the nipple because i've got quite big boobs whereas if you haven't you're gonna have to obviously have to fit closer to the baby i i imagine so in terms of like how to get the baby to latch and stuff i just grab my boob and shove it in um now she's a bit bigger i don't feel like i have to hold my boob but in the beginning because they were quite big just carrying on with the phone quickly because my battery died but yeah i am um, I didn't want to suffocate her with my boobs so when she was a lot littler my boob would like cover her mouth and her nose so I had to make sure that it wasn't covering her nose but she just she definitely doesn't want this boob she doesn't want the feed off this boob she's just laying there looking at me she was just like had it in her mouth going like laughing she loves she finds it really funny like playing with my nipples and stuff like that 
But yeah, so I don't think she's going to be feeding off boob number two. So I might give it a little pump then if she's just not going to feed. Because I want her to level out and I want both boobs to be able to produce the milk when they need to. Because boobs learn from the feeds the baby gives them. So obviously one boob might deflate more than the other if she's not feeding off it. So one of the cons of bottle feeding is that you've got to clean them and sterilize them each day. I mean, it's not the end of the world. You will get into routine, but I'm just gonna clean last night's one. So I used the Milton bottle cleaner, like washing up liquid. So hot water in the sink, just whack some of this in. And then that's good to go. So I'm just gonna take everything apart, like the bottles, put it in there. And I just clean them up before I put them in the sterilizer. Um, also use this is my hot water fast. I will show you everything I take up for a night feed when we go up to bed tonight. And then this amazing gadget as well. So this is my bottle and feeding station area in the utility room. So we've got the Tommy Tip Tippy prep machine, which we're not currently using. The Milton cold water sterilizer, I use this one Violet, I think it's really handy. So every, I do it in the PM, but every day I put a Milton in there, it lasts 24 hours and you have to put your bottles in for 15 minutes to sterilize them. Then I have like these mats just to dry everything and put everything on that's clean. And my basket of goodies, but I just need to put these bottles together now. So I also keep separate tea towels because I don't like to use um, the kitchen ones to dry my bottles. So these are all brand new ones I keep in my drawer. So they're all nice and fresh and they're the only ones I use to dry my bottles and stuff up with. So I do give a probiotic to LED every day. It's meant to help with gut health and if they've got like wind or reflux, it's meant to help as well. So I do five drops of this on a spoon and give it to her once a day. Come on then. I know you don't like this spoon, you do. Oh, come on then. I know, I know. Right, you're gonna turn it round. A bit more, we've got another drop. This pin. Oh. And then just lick it off the spoon. Oh, lovely. Lovely jabla. Okay. Hello. How are we on YouTube? How are we on YouTube? Hello. 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 So I definitely feel like she just doesn't like that spoon being in her mouth like it's a foreign object. She's used to like silicone rubbery things. But I find it really hard to put drop, like a few drops in anything else. So she gets like that spooned in her. But any other like medicine she needs to take, whether it be Infocol or gripe water. Yeah. Um paracetamol when she's old enough to have that then i will use a dispenser dummy now these are absolutely amazing i had these with isla as well are you right they are a five mil capacity so you just fill up the medicine in this little little, little box here and then you close that off and they can either suck it out themselves oh we dropped that well we're going to sterilize this one anyway ah and then um so yeah so and then you can they can suck it out or you can just like push the medicine slowly into their mouth and yeah it works like a charm i had it with isla and it was really good and led likes it as well so i do tend to give her bright water in the evenings and night times just because that's when they're more colicky and more windy so i just help help her with the wind and stuff like that we've kind of stopped doing the infocol so much now and just on the gripe water now she's a month old so yeah i highly recommend getting a dis uh, medicine dispenser dummy for things like that so hiding in my freezer is my stash of fresh milk now i've got this kind of organizer you can have it in your fridge or freezer and it's by nano bb and they are shaped like milk bags like this and then you can just put them in here and keep them nice and organized otherwise they'll be everywhere I just put the date on there it should last about six months in the freezer but i use this stash as i said during the day if i'm ever out and i can't feed her she'll have one of those 
So it's currently 20 past seven now. Now, on a normal day, I will prep her bottle and let it cool down naturally, put it on some water, but I'm gonna use my rapid cool tonight because she's getting hungry. And the one day I decide to film this, Adam's not back from work, so I am doing like, oh, I'm starting off bedtime anyway. I don't know what time he's gonna be back on my own. I haven't really done it. I think I've done it like once. And um, lucky enough, Adam has been getting back from work on time to do bedtime and help out. So I've been like doing, uh, I did I last night. Yeah? Is it bedtime? Nearly, yeah. We're gonna make baby sister's bottle and then get ready for bed. You gonna help me? Yeah, I'm just gonna be my little bottle helper now. Right, shall I put baby sister down? You can help me do a bottle. Yay! Yay! Right, what I do, don't, whatever you do, don't touch this bottle, but mummy's gonna give you this to put in here, okay? So right, we're gonna do one. Need to be a nice way. Be very careful, okay, so tip it in. One. Right, so what we're gonna do is we need to shake it. It's really hot, like, see why? Look, hot, hot. Oh, gotta be careful. Everything's a learning opportunity with a toddler. Right, so now I'm gonna put it in the rapid cool. Are you thirsty? I need milk. It's not for me, it's for baby sister. Right, and then, this is going to cool it down, so it'll be all right, so. Mummy, look, I'm doing it by myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, well, milk is coming because it's still cooling down, okay? Yeah, you tell her. Is it warm now? Don't look. <coughs> no, that's absolutely fine. Let me just tip it on me. Okay, I'll right. tip it on you, look. So this is how we tell if it's hot. Does it feel hot, hot or not? Okay, so lift it up and then you've got to lift it up so she can drink it. A bit higher. It's not hot, hot. No, we checked, didn't we? We checked it. Don't worry, it's not hot, hot for her. We Didn't we check on our arms? Let me whatever you're doing in terms of feeding your baby whether it be breast or bottle it is definitely a learning curve when you have a toddler running around um so i normally do this bottle upstairs in bed as part of the bedtime routine to get her in like that settling bedtime session but today we're having it downstairs and then i'm gonna what i'm gonna try and do is get led down and then get isla down i'm just about to head up to bed now and i need to get everything ready i need for the night feed i'm only got one feed now but i will talk to you as if like i'm doing multiple feeds because i've just got a like little technique i want to show you so first of all i'd pack as many bottles as i need for my night feeds plus one if you're unsure in the early days and you're not really sure how much many times they're going to wake up then just take as many bottles as you like so i'm just using the man ones i then have this formula container pot so it's got three different sections in it and each one has been measured out for the scoops i need a formula so yeah four scoops in each of these compartments that's handy i just got that from asda's and then take up my boiled water so this takes 500 mils and i take up my rapid cool now with formula anything with formula has to be sterilized after use so if you are going to be using your knobby cool to sterilize your whole formula feed like i did for the 7 p.m one you're going to have to clean it out and sterilize it which is not ideal in the middle of the night especially if you've got multiple feeds if you're like me you just want to get them over and done with and get back to bed and get some rest so a technique i use is called the hot shot technique and it's kind of like what the tobby tip prep machine does so with my board water, I will measure out the amount I need in my bottle, so 120 ml. I will then use the lid of the bottles because they've got, I think they go up to 50 or 60 ml on there. Oh, I can't get it off. 
I think it's, it might be 50. So if you just have a look, hold it up, hold, yeah, 50, hold it up to the light. I then, out of my boiling water, I measure out between like 30 and 40. I need a little bit extra for the thicker refax formula, but standard formula, if you measure out 30 mils for 120 mil feed. I then, so I've got, that's my boiling water. I then tip the rest of my water into my nubby, nubby rapid cool. So I'm just practicing with some, um, showing you with some like cool water. So that's in there. So I'm gonna cool down that. I'm then gonna put my boiling water back into my bottle. And then I'm going to tip my formula in here. So that should in theory kill all the bacteria in that like formula. So I give that a nice good old shake, making sure that all the all the formula's been hit with the hot water. This should have cooled down by now, and I just tip the rest of that into the bottle. And then that should cool the whole formula down to a really nice, like ready to go temperature. And then that just saves you in the middle of like having to clean your rapid cool out because it's just had boiling water in it so that will that's what i was doing but now she's only having the one feed at night i'm just tipping the whole formula in so i'm tip you know measuring out my boiling water to 120 and then put oh, putting the feed in straight away and then put it in a rapid cool to cool it down but yeah if you want to do multiple feeds is i would suggest and i don't know if it is recommended to do it this way but it to me it's killing the bacteria and it just saves you time and having to clean that out in the middle of the night if that's the route you're going to go down. So what I do before I go up is I just leave my cool flask by the kettle because Adam generally comes up a couple of hours after I do so he will bring the hot water out because this last will last about 12 hours but the later I can leave it to be actually be poured the hotter it will be at 2 o'clock so I just leave that there and he'll bring that up. And then also I have this cool bag here, which he will bring up when he comes to bed. So I've got the cool bag and what he does is he just puts in these ice packs. So I've got two of them and just puts them in there. And then I use that bag to put any express breast milk in there. So it will keep it chilled and cooled until I can get it in the fridge or in the freezer in the morning. So I'm going to leave this video here, but before I do, I just wanted to show you something that's come in the post today. So it's the Mendela Symphony Pump. So that's like the um, actual a boob attachments and like the bottle. And this is the bad boy. Now this is the hospital grade pump. So if you've ever used a pump in hospital, it's more than likely it is this one. I used this one with Isla when I was having issues when I was in hospital for that week and I just couldn't get my milk to come in. So I'm really excited to try that. I will let you guys know how I get on with that one in a separate video. Do let me know if you want me to do like a whole one on pumping or breastfeeding. And let me know if you've got any uh, questions and I'll answer them in the comments below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful or insightful. I'll probably do an updated one when she gets a bit older as well. I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye. Say goodbye.